Michael, yeah. can I, can I, I jump you, in here? And I, sure, please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so thank, thank you, David, for the question. And it's a really, really important question. And just to uh, add some uh, preface here. Uh, so like David, I am a supply chain um, researcher as well uh, at Cornell University. And um, I started looking into blockchain with similar kinds of questions as David uh, three years back. And uh, since then, the answers I've discovered uh, tell me that blockchain indeed has an application even when we don't have a consortium, even if I am a single party or, or I'm transacting with, a, with only one other party that I completely trust. And the reason, the reason why a centralized server will not do the job there is twofold. One reason is that centralized itself, I have found, is a... Is, is an ideal that's hard to achieve. Uh, even a single company has uh, lots and lots of different systems that have difficulty talking to each other and data is distributed between these systems. Uh, before my PhD, I worked at a bank and we had eight different systems and our balance sheet every single day would balance in one currency, but not in other currencies. And it, it was a hard time figuring out uh, why the accounting rules were in such a way that and the only way we could really match things was by doing a transaction by transaction matching. So, um, so I think one issue is the, that centralization is hard to achieve. The other is that a blockchain is different from database. Um, a database is a table that contains um, the, the, the current value of things. Whereas a blockchain is a, is a linked list or an audit trail of all of the activities that have taken place. And so, if I need to go back and check what has happened, a database is an imperfect tool to be able to do that. Whereas a blockchain can allow me to, to trace the activities and say where an error may have taken place, where a payment have been, may have been missed or a duplicate invoice may have been issued. I think, so, um, so I would say that even, um, even in a centralized system or even with two parties, there is a there is a value to to having uh, blockchains. Um, I would, however, say that in the in the supply chain finance example that Devjani was describing, um, it seems to me that blockchain has a has a more important role in risk management, um, less in executing the transaction itself. So um, because the execution could happen with an escrow account. Um, I could probably just put money in the escrow and, uh, and, uh, and that should do the job. Why do I need to guard it with a blockchain is something that I did not understand uh, there. Uh -huh.